Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. As you can tell, I'm not out in a creepy building. Done two ghost hunts in two weeks. Fantastic experiences. I think we caught some really cool footage. And we are back with a reaction video. And this time, we're going to Mind Junkie. New channel for us to react to. So this is 10 scary ghost videos you'll never forget. Never forget. And also, just before we get in, you'll see me on my ghost hunts, on my videos, on my Twitch stream, twitch.tv forward slash bdgeeklive. I play horror games. You see me vaping a lot. I use one of these little things for my nicotine fix with short fills. And then I use this big boy here for maximum, maximum taste. And I use a company called Game On Juice. That side. Game On Juice literally the best tasting vape products out there and with code beardo you can get 10 percent off they've got a discord group they've got their own twitch channel now which i'll be doing a podcast on soon and just the best stuff out there most of my viewers that do vape have tried these guys and they absolutely love it so head on over there i will leave a link for that in the description down below use code beardo get money off the best vape you can get I want to the spooky stuff. Top 10 Scary Ghost Videos Before we begin today's episode of Top 10 Scary Videos, I'd just like to remind you that if you enjoy today's video, please hit the like button and subscribe to help support the channel. Go do that to him. In the road. And then me, if you like. The first ghost video in today's episode of Scary Ghost Videos is a video that's been recently circulating on Facebook. The video was taken on a car's dash cam and shows something rather difficult to explain. Have we seen this? A lorry collides with another vehicle There's somebody hopefully stood there. the occupants were okay. But if you didn't catch it, moments after the impact, we can see a mysterious figure standing motionless in the middle of What are you doing there? Has that pileup been caused because somebody stood there? But it seemed to come... It seemed to come through the truck. Now, I've seen plenty of these dash cam footage videos. People running down the side of a road is clearly just a person. That is stood in the path of a van and a truck, which have had an accident, possibly due to have seen that. And it's still stood there, not phased, looking at the next car coming on. Dash cam quality is poor. The sensors are poor the poor lighting and all the rest of it. And it, I can explain away most dash cam videos, but this, I can't. ...of the road, but where did it come from? Facebook users have been left divided on this video, with many claiming it to be a quote, ghost. But what do you think this mysterious figure could be? Is it a ghost caught on camera? You tell me. I mean, it certainly looks like. The apparition. This next ghost video comes from the popular YouTube channel, Ghosts of Carmel, Maine. Kent Burroughs, the man behind the channel, explains that he believes that his house is haunted and has uploaded... The reason I've just slapped my own face oh, is because of the amount of fakery and bullshit on this man's channel. The One of the most popular ones with the ghost in the window and then the ghost shoots down. I thought... The first time I watched it, yeah, that's scary. Ghost window. Something seemed a little off, but I couldn't put my finger on it. Then I was like, why is that thing seems so flat in the window? And then it pulls down under the bed. And he looks around, but he doesn't look under the bed. And it sort of set alarm bells ringing. And then I watched The World of Mr. Grey. And Mr. Grey has debunked this um, fully. Basically, when the guy is filming... He walks in, there's camera doing this. And then the camera pulls in the same direction that whatever is in the window falls. So what Mr. Gree described that as is, he's got a string, he's pulled it, which means your other hand has moved. And it's basically a sheet in a window. The, the lighting in the room 
makes it harder to distinguish what it is. But it's a sheet hung in the window. He's got a line. Pulls the line. Sheet falls out. Ah, look, nothing there. He's just pulled a sheet under the bed. I've seen other videos. His EVPs. <laughs> wow. Oh, he said my name. Oh, he said your name. With numerous scary ghost videos to his Ghosts of Carmel Main YouTube channel, which are quite compelling. This particular video was uploaded on the 9th of August this year and is titled Amazing Ghost Encounters Beyond the Grave. And Kent claims that the following video you're about to see is 100% real. Kent sets up his equipment, including an SLS camera, and this is what he caught on camera. I kept hearing loud movement sounds in the garage. At the same time, I'm feeling that strange sensation on my skin, as if some magnetic force is pulling on me. This is the same feeling I got a few days prior in the basement. When the laser lights from the laser grid hits my eyes from the peripheral side, I see strange anomalies standing right in front of me. It's as if the light is causing a reflection of an apparition. My eyes didn't feel right. I thought maybe I was seeing things. I even go as far as rubbing my eyes. I walk up to the SOS cam to see if any anomalies are being captured. A spirit also gives me a warning. Why are you still bringing up the basement? Now he's put the text of get up and demon. That's all you can hear. Called Paradolia. But we've me and Demon Bailey tried one of these um apps. It's called Necrophonic. It was just garbled noise. And I I probably won't use one again. It flicks well, radio the laser stations. Light from the SOS cam hits my eyes. Once again I see something strange in the garage looking back at me. The camera also captures what I saw. Is Rachel still with me here? I know. If it hadn't have been for all the other bullshit, I'd have found this quite believable. And even if he has really caught a ghost there, I can't believe it because of all the the fakery. But that does look pretty cool. Without a doubt, based on what I saw and felt in real time, this is an apparition standing in the garage. This is not pareidolia. When the spirit said get out, I don't believe this is something to be messed with. This incident raises a lot of questions about seeing apparitions or strange anomalies from the peripheral vision. Is it possible under the right conditions, when certain lights reflect off the lens of the human eye, <coughs> does this reveal apparitions or other anomalies in the peripheral vision? On many occasions, the peripheral vision of the camera lens will capture strong images most people write off as pareidolia. What I saw in the garage is exactly what the camera captured. I'll be conducting more research into this. What looks like a ghostly apparition with dark hair is caught on Kent's camera. Kent dark hair? I can see the shape of a head. Or oh, maybe there's like, he's got a bowl cut. That is, that is weird, but... You know, Kent is. Viewers um, were astonished by this capture, with many claiming it full of shite. I mean, look, there's a face there, there's a ghost there, and there's another ghost there. They're not. It's literally like reflections on really poor quality video. Why are all ghost hunting videos such poor quality? It to be the spirit of a woman, but what do you think? Is this a so spirit of the ball Kent's viewers claim? You tell me. The trickster. How to get ripped within 30 days without gym and dieting. This genius US Navy SEALs device to get incredible. 
Flabs, not abs. This next creepy ghost video comes from the ghost hunting channel, Hunting the Unknown. Alex claims that he and his fellow paranormal investigator Tony caught a quote, spirit, on camera while conducting a paranormal investigation at the ruins of the ancient Knowlton Church. Knowlton Church dates back to I've almost 1,000 years ago and is said to be incredibly haunted. One of the most talked about sightings is that of ghost children I'm sure I've seen who apparently this. play tricks on people. For the first part of the video, Alex and Tony explore the old ruins where they attempt to communicate with any spirits in the area. However, at around the 20 minute mark, they capture something rather yeah. creepy on camera. Okay, which is the only shadows? Hello, if there's any spirits with us, can you come and touch this device in my hand? See what he did there? Put his phone and camera rig close to the EMF to make sure it wasn't interfering. Like that. Please. Make it go a different colour for us and then we know you're with us. Bang. You see that? No, what? You got that on camera, I got that on camera, it just went orange. I swear you, to God, you mate. Can you do that again, please, if that was you? So I can see it. On wow. command? Wow. We're in the middle of nowhere, guys. In the now, for everyone seeing, he's put his phone there in the EMF there. My phone doesn't set off my EMF recorder unless I'm receiving a text message, single, uh, signal, whatever. I always put my phone in uh, airplane mode when I'm ghost hunting, and then it doesn't set off the EMF. The thing's flashing like mad. You flash it to red so we know it's you. Wow. Wow. It's never Guys, gone red off my phone. Pocket and it's going off. Wow. Oh, the ball's gone off! The ball's going off! The ball's oh, going wow. off! Yes, I've seen part you. of this video. I haven't seen all this. Mate, oh, I'm getting goose. This, this has gone f***ing crazy in my pocket. Did you hear it? Yeah. Man, I'm covered in goosebumps, mate. Wow, thank you, thank you, thank you. This is Who pretty cool. Who are you communicating with? Oh, it's gone off oh, again, man. There we go. Wow. I've ordered some of them balls. I've got an EMF. I've got a REM pod. Got a few other bits coming. Those balls are basically cat toys. And basically when a cat hits them, they flash and then the cat will chase the ball. But they're motion activated, so people leave them laying about. And if they go off on their own, it's because they've moved. Cool idea. Thank Viewers you. at home, you can't say that we're trying to manipulate that ball there because it's on stones, it's on concrete. There's no way we can do anything to that. Can you do that again for me, please? I'm walking over to you. Where is it? I can't even see it, mate. It's, it's, uh... I'll put this down next to it. This goes off as well. There you go. There's two ways to another can EMF. Of us. If you're a boy, if you're a child, can you do both of them at the same time, please? Imagine that. Yeah, that'd be good. Should we do an EVP? Thank you for showing us, eh? Oh, oh shit, man. Oh. Can you touch the, the device next to it, please? I didn't both Use all your energy. I can't believe that. That's crazy. That's how lucky it's beyond you. Oh, no, mate. What was that? Oh, no. Maybe this isn't the one I've seen. Do that tip tonight, innit? Did you hear that, though, yeah? Behind me? Yeah. Who was that? Can you do it again? You gonna step on your stuff? Mate, What's that? Like, oh, what the what? Show us. Oh man, what the we just caught? What? Right, I've seen the video from this angle, and that's all I've seen. Just there, mate. There it again. It's there. Whatever it is, it's there, bro. Say it, bro. The fog, I have fog. Fog's on it. Where's all the fog gone? Get in your camera. Look. What's going on, show me? Oh, we need to be quiet, man. We must be just caught. That look, a kid. Look, it's gone all foggy again, look. And now it's gone clear. Oh, shit, man. 
What we just caught on camera. Guys, I'm shaking up now, but on this thermal camera, I'm not sure if you can see that. If it says on shoot images. Mate, that's a, that's a iPhones, which I believe that phone is, don't have thermal imaging. If that's an app, it's not real thermal imaging. It's a coloured filter. And I'm not saying they know that, because you buy these apps for like two pound fifty. They'll tell you it's thermal imaging. It's not. It's um, a coloured filter. You can get night vision ones and all sorts, and it's a green filter. But let's see what they got. Look, it's like a kid runs off over there behind that. Yeah, like here. Wow. <laughs> runs off. Maybe that's not an iPhone. Maybe that is a phone that's got some sort of thermal imaging on there. Or a lens attached to it. I'm not sure. I didn't think you could get thermal imaging on, on a mobile phone. Here. It looks like yeah, something run off. Out. Into here, doesn't it? Yeah. What the fuck, man? Wow. I can't believe it, man. Should I see it again? Let's respect the guy on crutches, go hunting. Look, I'll see the legs. Look, it comes right close to the... What app is that? Legs. Right after the sound, a child's voice can be heard. Then, I as Alex the is voice. filming on a thermal imaging app on his phone, he spots something which startles him. A childlike figure is caught on Alex's thermal camera running away before it somehow disappears through a wall. But is this a ghost caught on camera, that as Alex weird. and Tony claim? You tell me. The Shadow. This next ghost video comes from the Ghost Hunting and Paranormal Investigation channel, Ghost Tech Paranormal Investigations. In the video, the ghost hunters visit the now abandoned Petworth Chapel, located in West Sussex, England. For the first part of the video, the team this. conduct a paranormal investigation inside the old chapel. And I think this video was on one of my original reactions. Each take it in turns to contact any spirits that may be lurking close by. They hear voices, yeah. knocks, and other strange right, I've seen sounds. That one. We'll, one of the we'll skip the number. We'll skip the number six. The spirit. We'll skip that one because I've already reacted to it. This next ghost video. This is the easy bar. Is YouTube calling me fat? At home. Or anywhere you the video comes from the YouTube channel Analog Heaven. The video was uploaded back in July 2012 and is apparently proof of the supernatural. The uploader claims that the following video was sent to them by a person who had been hearing their piano playing mysteriously all by itself. The unknown person decided to set up a camera pointing at their piano to try and get to the bottom of this strange occurrence. And this is what they caught. That'd freak you out though, wouldn't it? Sing us a song, Mr. Piano Man. Bug. The piano lifts open and starts to play somehow, all on its own. And if you look closely, what looks like an apparition can be seen on camera, as if it's playing the piano. Now I have no idea if this video is real, but the uploader and their viewers seem to believe it is. But what do you think? Is this a ghost caught on camera as the uploader and their... That piano lid is probably not light, and you'd have to have some sort of swivel to pull a wire through it not an easy thing to set up that but maybe it is but that you can lift that quite easily to get the piano keys to play i don't think that'd be easy to fake you can actually see the piano keys are dipped there and to get the apparition pretty cool Oh, I'm not a great video editor by any stretch. You could tell if you watch this channel. This channel. Um, now you could have somebody stood there, maybe in a green suit, and use a chroma key to delete him out of the footage. But that never that warping of what they say is an apparition doesn't come in front of the piano. I'm quite impressed with that actually. 
I mean, could it be somebody in like a green morph suit and they've chroma keyed it out, play, lifted that, played the piano and just walks around there and the bit of him they've seen, they've claimed as a ghost? It's a possibility. But there was no sort of visual noise there. Hmm. And before anyone starts, after the whole Casper site and what's his face? Slapped ham. They did a podcast where they said people debunking videos are party poopers. I'm not a debunker. I don't do debunking videos. I just look for common sense and bullshit. Anything beyond that is paranormal. I don't debunk. I just try to look at things objectively and from a realistic approach. That, to me, could have an explanation of a guy in a morph suit. But 2012, was that technology there? We haven't got a timestamp. But on face value, that's some pretty cool evidence, possibly of an apparition caught on camera playing the piano. Viewers claim, you tell me. Who is that? This next ghost video has been shared before, however, I haven't seen it featured anywhere recently. The video clip was filmed back in 2016 by a Brazilian news station who were recording the scene of a car crash on the BR-262 highway in Brazil. I'm According this one. to the news station, a lorry turned over and crushed a small car. The oh. occupants of the small car didn't survive. The news station covered the scene of the accident, but while filming the wrecked vehicles, they captured this on camera. It's a face. Captured on camera by a new station, a mysterious pale face can be seen through the front windshield. But who is it? After conducting a thorough inspection of the vehicle, emergency crews found no survivors inside the vehicle. And news crews were only allowed to film some time after the emergency services had finished their inspection. So could this be the spirit of one of the occupants who sadly passed away from the... My initial thought was... It's these people, the emergency crew or whatever, those people, it's one of their reflections, was my initial thought. They were all male. That looks like a female face. Not only that, there's a shadow of the, uh, the central mirror over her eye. And with all them police about and stuff, nobody is going to be sticking their face in there and contaminating evidence. Another cool one. Collision, you tell me. Mind junkie. Haunted. Well done. This next ghost video was captured back in 1989 by an independent videographer and paranormal investigator, Daniel Hobbit. The video is, quote, real ghost footage filmed inside a couple's haunted house. It's not the best quality, but I have done my best to enhance it for you. The 1989. That is an old video. It's younger than me. This is a relatively uh, vintage. That makes me sound old. The story behind this capture was that the family were experiencing terrifying Jesus fucking Christ, activity fuck. inside their home. Objects were <laughs> asshole. <laughs> I hate the Grudge. Oh, I actually love the Grudge movie, but that ghost is horrible thrown on their own, doors would slam shut by themselves, and the sounds of crying and voices could be heard coming from one of the upstairs rooms regularly. The couple refused to ever go in this particular room, but after hearing their story, videographer Daniel Hobbit becomes interested and decides to film inside the room that the family didn't dare to enter. And after his 11s is Hobbit. This is what he caught on camera. Size of that camera is bigger than him. 1989. This mysterious black apparition was captured by videographer Daniel Hobbit. You can't explain it, but you just know it's real. Hobbit has spent many years trying to capture compelling evidence that ghosts are real. He shot this eerie video in the home of a very frightened couple, convinced they were living that is a odd. disturbed spirit or entity. They were experiencing uh, strange occurrences in their house, in particular this one guest bedroom upstairs. Doors 
closing and pictures being thrown off the wall and crying and voices coming from the He's got some good hair. Despite the family's refusal to ever enter the room again, Hobbit braced himself and went in alone with his video camera. Once inside, Hobbit said he felt that some force was directing him to an antique picture on the wall. The picture was a present from the husband's dead mother. Why did she say dead so weird? A black, transparent, shadowy mass of some sorts. From the husband's uh, dead mother. mother. Standing by the bed. I remember the look on the husband's face. He stands up and he's pointing at the television, shaking his head, going, My God, he says, that's exactly what I saw. Hobbit even caught the apparition reflected in a mirror. This shot persuades many top researchers that we are witnessing a real ghost on tape. It was a scene where Mr. Hobbit panned the camera to the right and caught a reflection of the image in the mirror in the room. If it's an artifact, it's not going to be reflecting in the mirror in the same angle as it would be as if it was actually there. So that rules out an artifact immediately. So then what is it? It's an unknown. It's fucking shadow. The frightened family who lived in this home. Shadow ghost. And never came Caught on back. camera. And the man who shot this video not only believes he captured a ghost on tape, but that it also should be a textbook example for proof of the... A tape. For you young people. Used to be about this big. And they had a ribbon of tape inside it that recorded footage on it. Like an old school DVD. I'm old. Afterlife. The researchers in this field has devoted the last 20 years of their life had never encountered anything like this before. It's very rare to see what they had termed as a black articulating mass. After it was analyzed, dissected, I guess what I concluded was that it was tr a truly an important piece of video. I think so. I was meant to have captured it for some reason or another, not knowing then why. Maybe in some small way with the mass interest that people have nowadays with ghosts. Goats. <laughs> the Sixth Sense is a great example of the, the success of that movie. I think there's a curiosity that has sustained itself over the years when it comes to the supernatural, when it comes to the belief in ghosts. There are those who actually do believe but won't admit it. I think maybe in, in a small way, I'm hoping that maybe I've contributed. Caught on camera inside you the couple's haunted house by paranormal investigator Daniel Hobbit. A dark shadowy figure can be seen quickly taking form in the corner of the room. But what makes this capture even more bizarre is that the shadowy figure can be seen clearly in the reflection of a mirror. But what do you think? Is this black mass something paranormal? You tell me. Something's that's one of the most compelling shadow fuckers I've ever seen. I mean, it had a reflection. I genuinely don't know what to say about that. That looks legitimately like a ghost caught on camera. It's there. The following creepy video comes from TikTok. Uploaded by the user RosieB2326. Rosie claims to have caught, quote, paranormal activity on an indoor security camera. And after watching the video, that could likely be the case. Oh, I've seen this. Uh, Mrs. Geek sent me this and I watched it on TikTok. <laughs> and it's bizarre. Not only is it bizarre, but highly believable. Try getting a kid that age to act. Not an easy feat. This, just watch it. Shh. Stop interrupting me. That's mine. You tell that ghost. Piss off, ghost. As freaky as that is, the best part is she snatches that blue box back, looks at a ghost and goes, <laughs> Go on, kid. That, that's freaky. 
Rosie's daughter can be seen in the kitchen all by herself. Or was she? As Rosie's daughter walks in the kitchen area by herself, she suddenly stops and looks up at something. The, the stop and the look. Everything about this is just odd. And I don't mean odd like staged. I mean odd like it looks like that kid is reacting to something we can't see and is trying to snatch two things out of our hands. Thing we can't see. She then appears to talk to someone or something, then appears to be pulled by some invisible force. Rosie's daughter manages to pull away, but when she offers up another item, the invisible force seems to pull her again. Rosie's daughter can be heard saying, no, and then walks out of the room. TikTok viewers have been left stunned by this video, with many claiming that this doesn't look like it's the first time Rosie's daughter has dealt with whatever this is before. But what do you think? Is this something paranormal as Rosie claims? You tell me. I think so. I have watched that video of the little girl. I don't know how many times I've looked for artifacting. I've looked for masking. I can't see anything. I genuinely can't hear reactions. The the She's walking, looking down, and then looks up, and there's a, almost a second of shock on her face. And then the, it just all seemed legitimate. The next creepy clip was uploaded to TikTok by security guard Mafia 300C. Mafia 300C claims to have caught something paranormal peeking out of a window of an office building he was patrolling. Mafia. Can you see this thing? Yeah, it's still there. Okay. What's happening with the lights? Because I'm, dude, I'm looking the, 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 the lights were. The... I can't see, like. I what am I looking at? Nothing. The lights are off right now. Oh, it just moved. It just moved. No, it, it just moved. It just moved. Fourth floor. Dude, it just moved. Something can be seen in the fourth floor window before it quickly disappears out of sight. Mafia 300C claims that this video he captured is real, and TikTok viewers have been left scratching their heads from this clip. But what do you think this could be? Is it something paranormal? Could be. You tell me. Could be burglar. The figures. The final ghost video in this week's episode of Top 5 Scary Ghost Videos has been shared before. However, I haven't seen it featured on any other channels for a couple of years now. The video you're about to see comes from the Italian paranormal investigation channel PIT, where they explore it. an old underground bunker beneath a forest miles out in the middle of nowhere. Apparently, local people claim to have heard gunshots and say the bunker is haunted by soldiers who- These are the guys I reacted to a video and I was like, yep, yeah, they're full of shit, they're full of shit, they're full of shit. And then there was a ghost of a little girl stood behind them, and I was like, they're not full of shit. I got them mixed up with two different channels, and I thought these were the guys I'd seen before faking, and they weren't. Um, and the little girl ghost video was pretty good. Who passed away inside the bunker during World War II. At around the 15 minute mark, the team use a spirit box device and ask a bunch of questions where they get a lot of strange responses. However, during their spirit box session, they hear strange sounds coming from somewhere in the darkness. One of the team, Simone, snaps a picture and captures something lurking in the shadows. <laughs> Why am I leaning forward to try and look at what they're looking at? TVs don't work like that. Idiot. But show me then. Captured mid-movement, a dark shadowy figure can be seen wandering at the end of one of the tunnels. The paranormal investigators all become no. spooked by this dark figure lurking in the darkness near them, but Paolo isn't too concerned. He decides to split up from the group and venture oh, alone through the tunnels, and what he sees sends shivers down his spine. Hey? B? Yeah, Hey? Kitchen. Oh 
I didn't see shit. Dramatic music and all that, but I literally I saw a camera doing that and... As Paolo is exploring one of the dark tunnels alone, he senses something in front of him. Then, when he pans the camera down the tunnel, another dark shadowy figure can be seen yeah. walking at the end of the tunnel. Paolo sees it and quickly runs after it. But when he gets to where the figure was just seen, the figure is mysteriously banished. And do you know what makes this catch even creepier? Is that where the figure walked to is completely blocked off by rubble. So what do you think? Did PIT capture paranormal activity inside this old World War II bunker? You tell me. Thanks so much for watching. I mean, that's not his shadow because the torch is in front of him. Sh shadow. Shadow fuckers everywhere. I've noticed a large number of my viewers aren't subscribed yet. So this is just another friendly reminder that if you enjoyed this video, to please give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you'll never miss another video. Do and mind if junkie? you want to watch more scary videos just like this one, you can click any of these scary videos shown on the screen. And do that for him. And you can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram at MindJunkieTV and, all that. and on TikTok where I should be posting again real soon at MindJunkie. See you next week. I enjoyed that. That was actually really good. Obviously there was uh, maybe some bullshit in there. There always is in these top fives or top tens because people will upload any old cack to try and get on these channels i enjoyed that there was some really good stuff on there the um the the, the 1989 one that's the one that's got me that really yeah so guys let me know what you think in the comment section down below any of these you know have been debunked on the whole mind junkie you've just replaced slapped ham in my lineup of ghost e-video reaction things guys i'll be back very soon with another reaction video and we will be doing another ghost hunt keep your eyes peeled on the channel i'll probably do a little teaser like we did for the first one didn't do it for the second one don't know why spare the moment anyway i'm beardo and i am out and we're back with a ghost reel back